Now, I stay pretty consistent, right? Now, I'm not going to say that Roman Reigns does not deserve a part-time schedule. I'd never say he didn't deserve it, right? But at the same time, it's like there's tons of hypocrisy when it comes to his supporters. These same supporters back in 2018, 2019, they hated Brock Lesnar. They hate the fact that he was a part-time guy being handed championship without actually working for it, right? People hated Vince McMahon for giving Brock that kind of schedule. They felt like, okay, why would you keep giving Brock these titles when you have solid full-time guys that could be champion? But you hated Brock. You called him lazy. He's bad for business. Uh, he's all about the money that's all you were saying it was like it was a very unpopular opinion to say that Brock was good for business I felt like he was good for business but more people were saying he was not good for business they felt like if Raw had a full time champion maybe the ratings will go higher that's the kind of heat that Brock had amongst the fans. Fast forward years later, Roman has the same Brock schedule. And yet, I got Marks telling me Roman beating Cody was best for business. Wow. How come Brock and Goldberg never got that kind of treatment for you, Marks? They were never treated like that. It's like, how come Goldberg is the face of being a part-time wrestler? Why? What about Brock? Remember there was a rumor that, that people said that Triple H was, was considering not bringing back part-timers. Well, that was a bold-faced lie. Look where we're at now. We got Roman and we got Lita as part-time champions and we have Brock still wrestling but the point is why would you say Roman is best for business as a part-time champion over Cody Rhodes like why you never said that about Goldberg man you never said that about Goldberg beating the Fiend in hindsight that What's best for business, bitch? Huh? At least Cody Rose is still over. At least Cody Rose was drawing money. That was the highest grossing WrestleMania of all time. You don't believe me? Ask Triple H. He said it. I didn't. Because people thought they were going to see history. They wanted Cody to beat this guy. But you hate Goldberg for beating The Fiend, even though The Fiend was cold. <laughs> the Fiend was on his last legs, bro. Goldberg did not bury The Fiend. Now, that's the irony. You claim Roman is best for business beating Cody. Why? Didn't you say that about Goldberg beating The Fiend when Cody is more over than The Fiend ever was, bro? Hmm? At least Cody is the face of the company right now. That's all people talk about now is Cody Rhodes. Right? So, people hate Goldberg ever since he beat The Fiend. But, by your logic, hell, that was best for business. Yes, bitch, that was best for business. The Fiend was going nowhere. The Fiend was not believable to beat Goldberg. So that was best for business. Goldberg is a bigger draw. Bitch. Right? But to fast forward back to Brock. Man, Brock has so much heat. It was go away heat. Brock had go away heat. Because Vince was keep giving him multiple titles. And being a part-time guy, never on Raw, 
people hated that. But with Roman, Roman gets a hall pass. Why? Look, man, I think you guys are gay. If you are a fanboy of Roman and you think he's best for business by beating Cody Rhodes, you are gay. You are a homosexual. You want to get fucked by Roman. Let's just be real. That's facts. You marks are sexually attracted to Roman. What is the difference between Roman, Goldberg, and Brock? Goldberg, Brock were hated. Roman is beloved. I don't get it. He has the same schedule, but here is the irony. When Brock was a part-time guy, when he was champion back in um, 2019, 2018, he was beating guys clean. So he was earning his money. Goldberg was beating guys clean. He was earning his money. So look, this is bad creative. It's awful creative, right? So, why the hell would you have Roman as a part-time guy? He don't show up, right? But when he does show up, he cheats. That's awful creative. Make that make sense. So, he's very, very part-time. We don't see him often. But when we do see him, he cheats to win. It's like, wow, like, he might be the worst booked world champion of all time. Because that's bad, that's bad logic. Why should you have trouble beating guys when you got all the time in the world? As a part-time guy, why are you cheating? You have an easy part-time schedule based on your character, so why are you coming back cheating? Why do you need to cheat against guys who are full-time? Hmm? That's what we need to discuss. Why is Roman cheating against guys who are full-time? This dude has all the time in the world on his hands. So when he does come back, he, he cheats? So by your logic, how was that a great champion? Now, his first year as our Chopper Chief... I was a huge fan. He was booked great. But the last two years, bro, hell no. The past two years, he has peaked. It's over. He's boring. Same promos. He's just boring as hell, bro. In fact, I stay very consistent. And here's why. Last year, I made a video about Roman. I said that if he was in the ruthless aggression era, I said he would be a mid-card guy. And I said the reason why Roman is so great right now because he is a fancy car surrounded by buckets. If he was in the ruthless aggression era, he would be a fancy car surrounded by Lamborghinis. Which means he will be a mid-card guy surrounded by better cars. Right now, he's surrounded by buckets. So, he's being elevated because of that. Like I said, he's overrated. Dog, I stay consistent. I don't flip. I stay consistent. I, I said, if he was in the attitude era, he would be a jobber, mid-card guy. Nothing special. I, no, I kept saying he's a fancy car surrounded by buckets in this era. That's why he looks so good. He is inflated by bias booking based on how weak the roster is. So yes, he is overrated, but you fans, you stands a Roman? Look, man, y'all gay, bruh. Because Dude, y'all want to get fucked by Roman. You guys are sexually amused by Roman. Really. That's facts. Because this dude has the same schedule as Brock, but Brock was hated. But Roman is beloved, even though Roman cheats. 
Brock did not cheat. At least Brock was winning clean. You can't make this up. It's like you, you can't you can't move the goalposts. That's moving the goalposts. It's like Goldberg has never in his life cheated. Brock never cheats when he was champion. Never. But Brock had heat with the fans, though, because he was part time. People were begging for Brock to drop the belt. Roman, people once got to go over a thousand days. Like, I don't get it. It's weird. He don't deserve to go over a thousand days. He don't he don't deserve it. He does not deserve to go over a thousand days. It's like look. His matches are just not good now. And here's why. It's his fault. It's like, okay. His match with Cody Rose was a good match. But that match got messed up. Because of the multiple interference. Right? He puts on good matches until we see the same old ref bump interference, man. You ain't sick of that? I am. That's, that's for the birds, bro. I'm sick of it. That's for the birds, bro. Seriously. It's like he puts on good matches until we see the ref bump interference, man. It's the same old thing every week. Every match, same old thing, man. You ain't sick of it? Because I am. It's the ref bump, Usos, Spear, one, two, three, let's go home. The same old thing, man. At least with Brock, he was dominant. We knew what to expect. Ten, five minute match, F5, maybe four, three, one, two, three. Let's go home. At least we know what to expect because he was dominant. He was a beast. But, but, he was a heel. Enough with the bullcrap excuse about, about being a heel. That's not a heel, man. You can't keep doing that 97% of the time. He cheats. Now, I would give him hall pass if it was maybe... 5 to 10 percent, but it's over 90 percent. He cheats now. I have a huge issue with it because you are part time, you got all the time in it, you got all the time in the world to train and prepare for these full time guys, but you struggle against full time wrestlers. But here is the thing. This dude is six foot three, 260. Why is he cheating against Finn Balor? <laughs> you can't, you can't make this up, bro. You are six foot three, 260. How come you can't be Seth Rollins? You are six foot three, 260. Why did it take five men to beat Cody Rhodes? That makes you a mid-card guy, right? You can't call Cody Rhodes a mid-card guy when Roman had to use four men to beat this guy. So by your logic, Roman is also a mid-card guy. Listen, bro, you can't keep calling Roman a man better when he keeps having a hard time beating full-time mid-card guys, quote-unquote. Right? Kevin Owens. Finn Balor. It's like, damn, Roman, you can't beat Kevin Owens clean? You can't beat fat boy Kevin Owens clean. That's crazy. You can't beat Edge clean. Edge is like, what, 50? It's like, like I said, man, he's overrated. You can't beat little ass Sami Zayn clean. So by, by that same logic, man, that makes Roman a mid-card guy. He is awfully booked. How the way he's booked, it makes him 
Like a loser, really. He's a loser. He is a paper champion. That's what I mean. Like, look, if he was a part-time guy, but he was winning clean more times than none, I would say nothing. Now, let's say he beat Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania clean. I would say, you know what? Roman was the better man. Cody Rhodes, you got to go to the back of the line. That's what I would say, but I can't. It's like, how the hell are you going to walk to Raw on Monday with a cocky-ass face and not realize, bruh, it took you it took you four men to beat Cody Rhodes? What is there to celebrate? Now, based on his size, that's crazy. He's too big and cheap. Now, if this was Seth Rollins, um, The Miz, Max, Jericho, if they were to cheat as much as Roman, I wouldn't say a thing based on their size and their character work. Okay, I can see Seth cheating to win. I can see it. I mean, dude, he ain't Goldberg, he ain't Brock, right? He ain't big like that. He has good size, but he ain't you know, jacked up and big, I can see him cheating more times than none. Right? I can see that. Roman was the muscle of the damn shield. Fast forward years later, he cheats to win more than Seth and Dean Ambrose. Make that make sense. So, Roman, he's a coward. And Dean and Seth are not. Wow. Like I said, Roman has really... F he has fell off, bro. Roman has fell off. Like I said, I've been consistent. I caught him a mid-card guy. If this was the ruthless aggression era, this guy would be on velocity. Facts on facts. There's no way in hell Roman would get pushed more than JBL, or Batista, Taker, Booker T, Eddie G. That's what I mean. Like, there's so much hypocrisy now. I don't get it. It's like, y'all want to get fucked by Roman. It's like, it's weird. He had the same part-time schedule as Brock Lesnar. But... Every time Brock wins a belt, people get pissed off. But Roman is just as bad, if not worse. At least Brock was beating guys clean to make him a justified champion. What makes Roman a justified champion? Nothing. Now, bruh, you can't beat Finn Balor clean. You can't beat Kevin Owens clean, bruh. That's awful. That's it. I'm done.